Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different 12 YouTube channel. I hope you all out there are having a wonderful day like your girl and if not, manifest, plan and prepare for a better one because I guarantee you all it's surely coming to you guys for sure. And if this is your first, second, third time or more to my YouTube channel, welcome, happy to have you guys. Before you leave, definitely hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so when I drop content, you guys come into different world well and you come and learn about your girl. And speaking of coming and learning, I'm an author, motivational speaker, travel influencer, CEO of my own small business, Third Eye Entertainment, LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, inspire, and entertain all at once. So again, first, second, third time, or more, it don't matter, just hit that subscribe button for your girl yeah all right you guys so today is sunday inspiration sundays is what we drop uh for our content today and so with this one um this is going to be uh in reverse to uh, my last vlog i had titled the radical faith uh, you know having faith so uh supreme that you you know you 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 how did that, that word last i'm sorry i had a little brain for it radical faith is having faith so extreme that you you believe in the insurmountable that god is going to give it to you no matter if you're feeling unworthy of it, if you're not, it's not meant for you, you just, you have so much faith in God and what you're asking for and that he's going to give it to you and that it happens. And so that's radical faith. Now, I want to talk with you guys about renewed faith or restored faith for some of those who are on their spiritual walk or journey. And, you know, oftentimes they stray or they fall back or backslide or they just flat out give up hope. Uh, and, and give up their faith and, you know, just stop believing, you know, I'm not going to lie. I have been down that road where I question God and ask God, you know, why this, why that, you know, are you really real? Of course, you know, I've asked those questions, you know, and I've gone down that road to where, you know, at times where I just want to give up on my faith and on God. But, you know, I have to just remember this walk through Christ is not an easy one. It's not supposed to be, and you know, for those out there who are true soldiers of the Lord, are going to endure, you know, those battles and understand that we've been made endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. I also, you guys, I was just looking up uh, Bible scriptures, and I found I came across the uh, Second Corinthians four six, to where it says, "Therefore, we do not lose heart, uh, but through our inner man, excuse me, through our outer man, is decaying." Yet our inner man is being renewed day by day. And so with that being said, so even though on the outside it may be decaying, we have to remember to keep our heart and our mind renewed by making sure our faith is renewed as well. And you do that by, you know, waking up with daily prayers, uh, affirmations, you know, reading the Bible, having fellowship or going to church and getting involved with your community uh, and just having that overall spiritual relationship with God and talking with him. Uh, about what's going on in your life and the trials and tribulations and the struggles you know he knows what you're going through and what you need so talk to him about it even if at times even if you're upset with him and you don't understand his plan that he has for you it's okay that's what he wants you to do to come and talk with him and have a relationship with him and so at times when I'm questioning you know what's going on in my life and I'm feeling like man i want to give up i sit down and i have serious conversations with god as if you know he's right here next to me and i'm just like he's a therapist and i'm on the couch just venting to him of course not not being disrespectful with him or you know cousin at it of the situation um but just talking to him you know hey god this is what's going on with me i don't know what to do i don't want to panic and make the wrong mistake and you know mess up my blessing so show me the way and and oftentimes you know when i'm stumped or don't know what to do now what i do is i sit and be still <laughs> back in the day um when i didn't receive an answer i feel like you know god wasn't answering me if he didn't hear me i didn't know what to do uh to make sure you know i, I get what i wanted or you know felt that what i needed at times if i felt like it wasn't going my way i would panic and I would do something, you know, so to speak, of a manipulative situation and, you know, try to, you know, make it go in my favor. And then oftentimes it would backfire and then I would mess myself over. And so, um, and, and then I would lose faith in myself and in God. And then over time, I would just have to build back and, you know, restore and renew and then understand, first of all, you know, what I did and why I did it and, and understanding that, you know, just because we have faith doesn't mean that what we want is going to come to us overnight. It almost never happens that way. And so understanding walking by faith and not by sight is a very true statement. However, 
faith without work is dead is even more so true. So although we have faith, we have to keep it restored by also putting in that work and continue to walk that journey that's unseen and unknown, just knowing that we have faith in ourselves and in God and that everything is going to work out in our favor, right? And so, with that being said, you guys, I'm, I feel like I'm doing enough talking now. I always say, when it comes to motivation, you guys need to hear from a third party or somebody more than one person. So, with that being said, check out this uh, inspiration v uh, video I found from Grace for Purpose, uh, talking about renewed faith and a prayer that to keep your faith strengthened every day. And I, I like this prayer, and so I think I'm gonna, you know, say this in my vlogs and my little playlist, and make sure I play this in the morning for the morning meditations. But Check it out. When it's done, it'll come back on. We'll talk a little bit more about what's going on in different world. Yeah, here it is. The word of God tells us in Jeremiah 17 verse 7 that blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters which spreads out its roots by the river and will not fear when heat comes, but its leaf will be green and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will cease from yielding fruit. It's no secret that we are living in uncertain times. No one knows what tomorrow holds, but I would like to encourage you to join me in prayer because at such a time as this, we should seek the face of the Lord. And so as I pray, I ask that you lift your faith and have an expectant heart, that God will have mercy on us and will hear our prayer. And so, let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, all glory belongs to you. All the honour belongs to you. I am praying at this time because I need you. I need your love and I need your grace. I look to you for direction. I seek you for counsel and I refuse to lean on my own understanding because when I look at the way things are and when I look at the things happening around me, nothing makes any sense. And so I am believing that there is a purpose greater than what my eyes can see. There is a reason why I am going through this trial, through this test. And if I must go through this test, if it is your will, I ask that you give me the strength and the faith to stand firm and endure. I pray that you stand by me, Lord Jesus. I don't know what I will face tomorrow, but I do know that your word tells me to submit to you, for you will make my path straight. I know that your word in the book of Isaiah tells me that when I pass through the waters, you will be with me. When I pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over me. When I walk through the fire, I will not be burned, and the flames will not set me ablaze. In your word, I place my confidence for tomorrow. In your word, I place my hope and faith for tomorrow. You are the God who knows the number of hairs on my head, and you say in your word that I am not to fear because I am more valuable to you than many sparrows. And my dear Lord, I ask that there be a hedge of protection around me. I ask that you place a hedge of protection around my family, my wife and my children. I ask that you place a hedge of protection around our health and around my home so that the enemy may know not to come any further and not to touch me or my family. I ask that the blood of Jesus Christ, the risen King, will cover my steps. You are a God who watches over me. 
you are faithful not to let my foot slip. You are a God who never sleeps nor slumbers. Victory belongs to you. Healing can only be found in you. Restoration comes only through you. And my protection is under the blood of Jesus. The blood that never loses its power. Thank you for hearing my prayer. I praise you in advance. Holy Spirit, help me to trust like Job, that if I were to lose everything, if my job were taken from me, if my house and car was taken from me, I pray that I would have a trust that is unshakable. I pray I have strong faith in God to be able to say, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. I pray for bold faith that will push back and say, with God, all things are possible. Give me the measure of faith that truly believes you are the God of I am, and you will make a way when there seems to be no way. Lord, I pray for a heart of worship like David. I too want to chase after your heart. I too want to worship you in spirit and in truth. Greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. May the peace of Jesus Christ, a peace that is divine and holy, rest on your heart and emotions. May you find comfort in the Lord. May you find comfort in the Holy Spirit. God, your love is unending. Your love is awesome. I pray that whoever is listening, give them healing, Father. Give them peace. May God mend your broken heart. Whatever situation you may have faced, whatever your circumstances are, do not be disheartened. Do not be discouraged. God is with you. It hurts right now, but God will give the strength to endure. God is still with you even in the pain. This too shall pass in your life. Jesus said in his word, in the book of John 14, verse 1, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God. And I pray that you will receive those words. Your heart is not troubled because you belong to God Almighty. May you have a peace beyond all understanding in your emotions, in your soul, and in your spirit. Your word says that weeping endures for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Our hope is within you, God, and we look to you as the anchor for our souls. Lord, flood every corner of our emotions. May the blood of Jesus remove every negative thought. You are the Good Shepherd. You are the healer of broken hearts. You are the great deliverer. So we ask, in agreement with anyone listening, heal our afflictions, lift those who are low in spirit. We call on your great goodness and abundant grace. May it overflow in our lives. Your word says that you will give strength to the weary and hope to the distressed. Your word says, come unto me, all you who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Father, I proclaim and declare all of your word and promises over anyone listening, because you say that you honor your word to us even above your name. Flood our hearts and minds with your love. Refresh those that are weary and heavy burdened. Strengthen those that are weak in their emotions. Help those in turmoil. Comfort the sorrowing. Heal those that are hurting. And draw very close to all who are in need of emotional healing. Your word says that you heal the brokenhearted and that you are near to those who are downcast and depressed. Just as you are on the throne, we know everything is going to be all right. You've promised to meet every need according to your glorious riches in Christ Jesus. Please provide, according to your word, the emotional healing needed 
for anyone listening and willing to receive. I declare that depression must go, pain and sadness must go, anxiety and worry must go. I pray for comfort and for your blessings must come down. I pray for the one who feels as though a storm is raging through their life. May your presence calm the waters. No matter the circumstance, no matter the situation, you are the rock of all ages, our strong tower and fortress. When we grow tired and weary, when we stumble and fall, I pray that your strength renews us. May your presence be felt continuously in our hearts. We remain confident that you are a faithful God and you will be our light in the darkest of hours. Amen. All right, everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoy watching that inspirational uh, vlog or clip uh, titled 10 Minutes to Help You Strengthen Your uh, Faith and that's by Grace for Purpose. So be sure to check those uh, people out or check them out and the, drop their information in my description below. After you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, as you guys seen uh, with their prayer, just uh, talked about man of, of abundance and having renewed faith in yourself, in your mind, in your heart, and in God, and even you know in your terms, your 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 terms of trials and tribulations, just calling out on the Lord and you know having Him to restore your faith in time of need. And so I definitely like that video. I'm definitely going to uh, say that in my playlist, and hopefully you guys do so as well uh, for those that are on your spiritual walk. Uh, so with that being said, you guys, if you like my vlog today, show me by liking, sharing, commenting, and definitely you guys hit that subscribe button and um, notification bell so when I drop content, you guys come into my YouTube channel and you come and learn, yeah? So what you waiting on? Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> all right, you guys, moving on. Don't forget, check out my website, differenceworld.net. You can check out all my other social media handles, including my Instagram, my TikTok, as well as my Twitter, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, also, anybody out there that's looking for motivational speakers, looking to do podcast collaborations or grassroots conversation, uh, get at your girl. I'm free of charge as of now. Just go to my website, differenceworld.net. Uh, you will book your girl there. Shoot me an email, uh, direct message. Uh, by any means necessary, uh, get at me. By any ways that you can. Um, so, um, what else we got, guys? Um, we have, don't forget also, yes, my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. <laughs> Be sure to go to my website as well and get your copy of that. Again, my book was written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism, and I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations. So again, you guys, be advised that this is intended for a mature audience and it has sensitive content. And so if you can't take this type of kitchen, excuse me, <laughs> take this type of heat, <laughs> still come on to the kitchen. Why? Just get you a little play blanket. You'll be okay. That's the point of it all, you guys, is just to have these conversations that need to be had that are often, you know, swept under the rug. People don't like to talk about. That's the point of it all with this book. It's, it's set up to, you know, push that envelope. It will ruffle some feathers. It's not meant to just piss you off or ring some bells. It's the point of it all with this book is just to bring people to that round table to have these conversations that talks about unity and accountability, acknowledgement and creating ways we come up with systemic change instead of dwelling on systemic racism. And so uh, it's, it's also it's not just about white and black. You know, I have a little sub subtle homages to, you know, Native Americans, uh, Hispanic culture, the Muslim, even the LGBTQ community is included as well. So um, for those out there that are mature enough to understand and those that just want to, you know, see what it is I'm talking about, 
definitely go to my website, differencewell.net, and you get your copy of my book. Again, I appreciate all the love and support that I am getting and the reviews. Please keep it coming and don't stop, you guys. Definitely. Um, moving right along with the different train. What else we got going on, you guys? Tomorrow is Tuesday. Um, oh, no, it's not Tuesday. I'm sorry. <laughs> Today is Sunday. So tomorrow is Monday. Uh, last day in July. So I um, want to do a motivation of a vlog for you guys so again hit that subscribe button so when i drop content you guys come into different soil and you come and learn oh what's going on with your girl yeah all right you guys so moving along what else we got going on let's see our mental health check time yes we have that uh for anybody out there that may be going through any type of mental anguish including depression having suicidal thoughts anxiety attacks even dealing with bullying or drug relapse please know that it is okay to not be okay but don't ever sit there and not be okay go get help be it talking with a therapist a family member a friend picking up a hobby mending broken bridges cutting people off uh, getting on medication if that that's what it means if that's what it takes to keep your mental health in check and keep you from going off the deep end and possibly taking anybody with you do it as well as for anybody out there that may need or know anybody that may need these mental health resources that I'm about to share with you, please feel free to share with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255 or you can call or text 988lifeline.org. As well as anybody out there that would prefer to go online, you guys can check out mentalhealthishealth.us.org. US, <laughs> excuse me, or you guys can visit 988lifeline.org. And for those that are outside of the US, you guys can check out incounseling.com. Again, incounseling is spelled E N C O U N S C L I N G. And remember, you guys, although I am giving you these mental health resources, you have to remember that it's on you to do your own research and find out what works best for you. Because at the end of the day, you're the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate the waters, nobody else. And with that being said, you guys, don't forget whatever trial and tribulation that you're going through at this time of your life life this too shall pass and so therefore going off the deep end is not an option therefore it's not worth it so don't do it okay and so in close out a mental health check i just want to remind and encourage you all to keep and maintain your mental health in check by any means necessary you guys all right and so moving on and closing out on a positive note you guys uh, again i hope you guys enjoyed uh watching uh my spiritual inspiration will be logged in regards to renewed faith for those out there who may have lost it, uh, who may have, you know, gone down some on it, who needs to just have to be rejuvenated for those out there. Don't forget, um, it's okay, but just get back into the fight and then do whatever it is that you have to, to re-up on your faith <laughs> and, 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 uh, continue to fight the battle and, and, and don't give in. And again, if anybody out there that like this vlog, show me by liking, sharing, commenting, and definitely subscribing to my YouTube channel. I truly appreciate all the love and support that I am getting. Please keep it coming and don't stop, you guys. And remember, it, it comes to you guys going after your dreams and goals. Remember, whatever it is in life that you feel that you're, you're destined for, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And then it will surely come to you guys. Difference will come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slaves trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift? It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America. Through graphic but provocative illustration, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If, a controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.